Hi and welcome everybody. I am India Moore and as you can see I have included this quote from a recent interview because as you will see later I have suffered a lot through my life so I think I have the duty to speak for my community for those who have no voice. So welcome to my story. Well I am an American actress and model. I'm also transgender and non-binary. I know that sometimes it's a little more complex for people who understand gender in very conventional ways, but uh, I will try to use um, the ordinary pronouns so that you can understand understand my whole journey. Regarding my childhood, uh, I contended with years of abuse, discrimination and bullying. I was about seven when this picture uh, was taken and at that moment I was a happy little boy uh, but when I grew up um, I realized that I was a woman. Everything changed. Well, I was born to a Puerto Rican mother and Catholic immigrant father from the Dominican Republic, uh, who were both practicing uh, Jehovah Witnesses. As a child, I was forced to act in a feminine way because they used punishment in an attempt to alter my child's sexuality. Well, because I was assigned male at birth, they expected me to be masculine or So yeah, basically I was homeless for a period. I have to leave my home because my own family tr was transphobic and they couldn't handle me coming out as queer. So because of my parents' transphobia, I made the difficult decision to leave home at 14. And in addition to this, I was also frequently bullied at school, so I dropped out of high school in 10th grade. Um, after leaving home and entering the foster care, care system, I went in and out of several foster homes. Uh, living in all five districts of New York City and facing plenty of abuse and discrimination. Uh, uh, actually, it was a foster parent who first allowed me to try hormone replacement therapy. My foster parent happened to be a trans woman and I couldn't believe it. She let me try out hormone therapy replacement um, she let me uh, use her own supply. Unfortunately, she decided to cut me off from her supply, but I really needed it. So I was forced to use alternative means to get hormones, such as try trading sex with men for money. Well, uh, uh, working as a model, uh, I became a model, uh, a model at the age of uh, 15 and began working on shoots for Dior and Gucci. Despite the fashion in industry's initial treatment of trans people, uh, was like acting like it was a risky choice. But thanks to this uh, global fashion and makeup brands. I got uh, popularity as a fashion model and I have posed uh, for famous magazines such as Vogue or Elle. Uh, later, uh, uh, in late um, 2017, I was cast in Pose as Angel Evangelista, a transgender sex worker. And her story is so similar to mine, so I'm so proud of this show.
not only it is sending a message of love but it's sending a message of understanding um education well uh, that's a good question i never fail to use uh, my instagram platform to call for change and to bring attention to anti-racist uh, causes as well as social realities of race class and sexuality I have also sent donations for trans and non-binary youth in need to people with disabilities, sex workers and trans people of color in need. The whole point of me visualizing my story was just so people can see themselves in it. I want people to be able to see themselves through my experiences and I want my experiences and my journey as a person marginalized uh, to be lessons for other people. I'm always hoping for my experiences to be reflective for other people. Um, for example, for parents to see themselves in the stories that I tell. Hopefully, uh, they'll shift their ideas about how they believe they should raise their children and how the way that they raise their children can cause harm, particularly when they are trans and queer people. Um, also for them, uh, for trans and queer people to also be seen. I want my community to just for those who are struggling and that live closely to the experiences that I had to know that it is deeper than that and that their lives are valid. They can create a purpose for themselves and they not have to wait for once. And that is how I try to contribute to society.